Hello, this is Pavel Rozhov. I'm an application scientist with Applied Photophysics. In this short video, I will demonstrate how to replace drive syringes for SX20 stopflow spectrometer. Drive syringes are an essential component of stopflow instrument and require careful handling for optimal performance. However, occasional removal for either maintenance or replacement may be necessary. Syringe removal is done like this. First, make sure that there is no residual liquid in the drive syringes by pushing them upwards with the drive valves in the load position. Next, remove the drive ram by unscrewing it from its base. Placing hands on the individual syringe and unscrewing it allows to remove it from the bottom. Care should be taken when removing syringes through the grommets. Syringes are typically removed for cleaning, especially if you observe some dirt or particulates during your experimental run. Removing the plunger and washing the inside of syringe with water and ethanol can be very helpful in this case. For more aggressive cleaning, consider soaking syringes without removing them with 2 molar nitric acid. Alternatively, if you are interested in asymmetric mixing applications for your stop flow instrument, different volume syringes would be required. In that case, syringes would need to be replaced and a tie bar for appropriate pressure distribution installed. If you are interested in this application, please reach out by visiting our website photophysics.com and navigating to the contact support page. To install syringes back, push them up through the grommets, but also lubricate them with a bit of water to allow for easy installation. Tightening syringe is also a good exercise if you want to improve blood circulation in your thumbs, so I occasionally do it just for kicks. But in order to ensure the tight fit, you can also use pliers with a light grip pressure to secure syringe in place. After installing the ram and filling syringes with water, it's a good idea to test for leaks. Just set up the following experimental template making sure the pressure hold checkbox is ticked and press acquire. If everything is done correctly, you should observe regular syringe behavior and no apparent leaks. Thank you for your attention, and we hope this brief tutorial was helpful. Please visit our website photophysics.com to learn more about our SX20 stopflow spectrometer as well as other products and services, and get in touch with our customer support team should you need any further assistance.